Months of economic and political turmoil have created a humanitarian crisis in Venezuela. There are shortages of food and medicine. And for many Venezuelans, shipments from friends and family abroad have been a lifeline. But a recent crackdown by the government has restricted what can be sent to the country. From Miami, NPR's Greg Allen reports. There's no place in Miami where Venezuelan Americans have a bigger presence than Doral. The bustling suburb not far from Miami's airport is home to hundreds of freight forwarding companies that specialize in shipping to Venezuela. The last several months have been tough for these companies. At Venmex Cargo in Doral, owner Ernesto Ackerman takes me to his now largely empty warehouse. As a matter of fact, I had the warehouse next door. We don't need this space anymore. We were, we're not moving nothing, so I rented the other warehouse. Now we have only this one. Ackerman has laid off all but five of his 24 employees. Over the last several months, runaway inflation in Venezuela has caused a currency crisis that has killed imports. The only shipments now are packages Venezuelan Americans are sending to family and friends back home, most containing food. Ackerman worries most of all about his 94-year-old mother. She doesn't understand the situation, so she's complaining. She cannot eat arepa. Arepa is our bread. And to do the bread, you need the special flour, corn flour. That corn flour made in Venezuela it doesn't exist no more. Like many Venezuelan Americans, Ackerman has been sending regular shipments of corn flour, vegetable oil, and other necessities to make sure his mother and others in her household have enough to eat. But even those shipments to family are now being restricted. Shipping food is still allowed, but the Venezuelan government recently banned shipments of a long list of items, including first aid supplies and medicine. The Venezuelan embassy didn't respond to our request for a comment on the new policy. In Tamarack, another South Florida suburb, a corner of Milagros Ramirez's small home is piled high with boxes filled with medical products, desperately needed by hospitals, doctors, and clinics in Venezuela. This is for uh, diabetic people. Oh, this it's is uh, insulin pen- syringe. Yes. Uh, Ramirez runs Sanando, a nonprofit that sends medicine and medical supplies to Venezuela. But it's been more than two weeks now since she's been able to ship anything. In the U.S. and other countries, activists have been raising money to support protesters who for months have clashed with police in the streets of Caracas. More than 60 people have died. Gas masks, helmets, protective gear, and many other items have now been banned by the Venezuelan government. Through her daughter, Celeste Velasco, Ramirez says because of that, medical shipments have ground to a halt, and it's not clear what supplies are allowed. Yo envío una vez a la semana, los viernes. Y hay dos viernes que ya no, no he podido enviar porque no se sabe exactamente qué es lo que uno puede enviar. She has like infant formula, she has diapers, she has stuff like are for babies and she doesn't know if she can send them because she doesn't know like if they're going to like um search the shipment and like take it away and like it's not going to get to the hospitals. Now you cannot send or even eye drops. Hilda Marina Alcala, who works with another Venezuelan aid group, Move for People, says eye drops are needed because they help protesters hit by tear gas. I mean, they're having a hard time there. I mean, there is a fight. Everybody in the war knows about it. They're shooting them. They're doing everything against these these young people that want liberty for Venezuela. Alcala hopes the government policy will change, and she'll be able to resume sending medicine to Venezuela in a few weeks. Greg Allen, NPR News, Miami.